Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the printer today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is another beer that James sent me uh, up out of Michigan. This is Arbor Brewing. I don't have anything from Arbor Brewing. This is their Jackhammer, which is an English style old ale. Now this is a bottle, I don't see any date anywhere, and it's got a bright yellow caps on this thing. So, uh, what can it mean? It's danger, danger, danger? I seriously doubt it. Uh, Let's get on with this. Arbor Brewing got a Detroit, Michigan Old Ale coming. Like I said, they don't have the ABV listed on here. And I have two different numbers for that. Uh, Rate Beer has it at 8.5 and Beer Advocate has it at 9.3. So I'm not really sure what that is. I'll, uh, I'll try to go to their website and see if it says on their website what it is while I'm sipping on it. It is a winter beer, so uh, you better be snatching it up because it's probably going to disappear pretty quick here. I don't know what their volume is, how much they do. Like I said, I've never, I'm not from Michigan and uh, they don't ship these beers to Virginia, so I've not had anything from them before. <clears throat> the food pairings of this are cheeses of the buttery breed, Gouda, Havarti, Swiss, and the, uh, it says the, the, the general food pairing here, it is a old red ale, and it is a stronger red ale, so it's going to go with your stronger dishes and your stronger cheeses too. The, uh, the, the glassware, the pint glass, Becker, uh, Nonic, the Tumbler, the Stein, the Mug, the Snifter, the oversized wine glass, I got the double glass guys, that's what I like to use for these little bit bigger beers. Whether it's an 8.5 or 9.3, it's above the 7% is what I like to use this glass to basically enhance the aromas. And the uh, the beer can be cellared for extended periods, but we're not going to sell this one. Uh, James, once again, I appreciate you sending me these beers. I do appreciate it. Thumbs up on that guy. Let's get this into the glass. Uh, being a bigger beer, let's go down the center here. <clears throat> so, I don't see any digitized. Well, there may have been something digitized on the bottom at one time. So, that may be some kind of black writing on the <laughs> bottom of a brown bottle. Like, we're going to be able to see that really easy, huh? Don't understand that thinking at all. At all. Alright, guys, over to the light. It pours a very brown, murky. I don't see any real light coming through it. So it is Mississippi mud, river mud brown. Through the outside and through the top of the glass there, I can see just a little bit of light protruding through it. But it's pretty murky and pretty, pretty brown, guys. And get a closer look at it here. There are some bubbles streaming up. To the bottom of it, so uh, let's get a nose on it, see what this is about. I'm getting a little bit of roasted malt, but more it's like a sweet molasses, caramelly, maybe some dark fruit smell there, uh, raisins, dates, or plums, or something like that. I don't get any off smell. I'm not getting any large alcohol aromas or anything. A lot of candied, darker fruit there. It's got a real sweet smell to it, guys. Let's give it a taste. What do you think? James, appreciate it again. Cheers. Definitely got some alcohol in the taste. Definitely get the alcohol there. Wow. 
A lot going on with this beer. Very pleasant on the back end. A lot of a different stuff coming through there. Very, it's got the alcohol on the back end, but there is a lot of complex fruitiness to the back end too. The alcohol is there though, that's the biggest down factor that there is. There is an alcohol taste to this one. But it is very pleasant though. The old deals are supposed to be a little bit on the bigger side. I kind of like it. Very tasty, not my style. It's a nice pleasant change up. For a fairly bigger beer, whether it's a 8.5 or a 9.3, I guarantee this will get you there. But it's got a nice, it's got a nice complexity to the back end of that one. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a little bit of breadiness there now. I keep getting different stuff as it, as it, as I taste it on the back end there. Yeah, I like this. I may be giving it a little bit better marks than what some of the reviews I've read on this one are going to give because I think this is tasty. A little boozy, but I think it's tasty. It's got uh, got a little more taste than the, the beer we did yesterday uh, from Atwater. Uh, it was a little on the blah. I wanted a lot more beers. It was just a little too light for my taste. So uh, this is a little bit this is a little bit stronger. It got a little more taste, a little more run, a little more body for me. So guys, we're gonna let it warm up, let the other half taste a little bit of this, and I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one. But I'm liking this one. This is pretty tasty. Stick around. I'll be right back, guys. Hi right, guys, I'm back. I really enjoyed this. I did go to the website while I was sipping on this. This is 9.3. Not 8. Not 8.3 like a, a rate beer had. So beer advocate is correct on this. That's what their site says there. The website said, and it's 50 IBUs. So that's a little more on the bitter side. Uh, not up to an IPA range at 70 or anything like that, or even higher, but it is have it does have some bitterness to it to, to kind of match all the malt that's used to produce a high alcohol at 9.3 percent. So very very nice beer. I enjoyed this one, James. Thanks again. Final chug. Some darker fruit there. There's some. Some real pleasantness to the back end of this one. A little alcohol. I'm not. I don't notice the alcohol any more if it's warmed up than it was when it was cold. It is there. I mean, it's almost a, it's over nine percent between nine and ten percent, nine point three. It is going to be there. I mean, it's kind of hard to hide, uh, but it's not over overbearing. I mean, I've had seven percent alcohol beers that were more boozy than this. So, not bad, James. I appreciate this again. Like I said, it's not blowing my hair back or anything, but it was a nice change up for me. I it's it's a it's a B beer. It's not quite an A beer, but it is a B beer, and I'm gonna give it to that. It's a six. It's a solid B. That's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna give it. Rate beer has 84 overall, and a 55 in the style, and beer advocate comes up with an 80. So uh, uh, it's a B beer to me, guys, and uh, that's what I, I'm gonna give it. If you can get uh, the Jackhammer from Arbor Brewing, uh, especially all y'all around. Uh, Detroit and in Michigan. I don't know what the distribution is on this one, how far it goes out, but it doesn't come to Virginia unless somebody sends it to you like James did to me. So, James, once again, thumbs up guy. I appreciate you sending this to me. I enjoyed it. It was very, 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 very nice. Uh, not my style, but it was a good beer. 9.3% uh, will get you there faster and get on the get on the highway to hell and get there fast. So, guys, uh, give me some comments back on this and if you've had it, if you can get it in your area. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. See you then.